Hi folks, it's Evo here from Thunder Mist Lure Company and I'm going to ask Claudio to give us a quick demonstration on a couple of different methods on how to fillet perch. So Claudio is going to show us uh, quickly here how to fillet a perch. So he's going to start by making an incision behind the gill cover and what he's doing here, he's going to prep this perch uh, to remove the skin first. Different, it's different than your conventional method. So you can see here he's just cutting along the top of the backbone and now he's making an incision right up the belly to the tail fin there. So he'll do the same thing on the other side behind the gill cover and then along the top of the backbone and what that does is that allows him now to be able to grab that skin and just peel it off. Uh, for these panfish, for these smaller perch especially, it's very simple to do and it's much easier than trying to run your knife between the um, skin and the fillet. There he goes, those are both, uh, both skin and now he can quite easily remove the fillet. And by doing so, you just simply run the, the knife to the, along the backbone uh, and around the rib cage. And he works his way around there. And then uh, cuts around the rib cage and removes the one fillet. Just like that. And now the same thing on the other side. He just uh, cuts and removes that fillet works the knife along the backbone, around the rib cage, and then down past the rib cage and then along the backbone just like that right to the tail. There we go. And he'll finish off by just removing it from around the rib cage. And there you have two boneless fillets ready for the table. And perch as you, uh, as you know are very very tasty. Very very tasty fish. Okay for the second method Let's take a look at how to butterfly perch. Okay, so Claudio is going to show us his uh, butterfly method for cleaning this perch. And the first thing you have to do is remove the scales. Now it's a bit of a messy job, you get scales flying all over. And uh, in order to do this, you can, um, this particular knife has a scaler built right in on the back of it, but you could actually uh, buy scalers uh, and all it is is just a, a rough serrated edge that uh, helps you remove the uh, scales and as you can see in order to remove the scales you have to go against the grain of the fish and by doing so the scales pop off very very easily uh, because when when you do this butterfly method you're actually going to leave the skin on so there he goes he's got all the scales removed including off the belly there we have it now he's ready to begin his butterfly method. Okay, so again, an incision behind the gill cover. Cut right along the backbone, just like that, right along the top of the backbone. And then through and finish cutting right along the backbone to the tail, just like that. Now he's going to cut, cut around to the, to the rib cage. And keep cutting there right along the rib cage. You can let your, work, your, your knife work its way along the bone and you go right down to the belly but you don't, you don't cut the belly. You leave it right there intact. Just like that. Work your way along the rib cage like so. Perfect. Now you flip it to the other side. Finish cutting around the uh, gill cover. Again, along the uh, backbone. You make your cuts along the backbone. When you get to just around the rib cage, go all the way through and you can slide your knife right along to the tail just like that. And now continue cutting around the rib cage. And what you're going to do is you're going to go around the rib cage, down the side of the rib cage, right to the belly again. And you can see there he's just working his way just off the bottom end of those ribs there to the belly and then just cut along the bottom of the ribs just like that and then remove it from the, the neck area and there you have a perfectly boneless butterfly perch ready for the frying pan or ready for the oven either way you can't go wrong perch are absolutely delicious and there you have it folks butterfly fur perch Claudio style
one last thing, folks. Don't forget to subscribe to our videos by clicking on the button most likely found right over here as we have a lot more fish catching action coming your way. And if you haven't yet, be sure to check out our website at thundermissfishingtips.com as we have a lot more articles there and fish catching advice for you. So until next time, good luck and good fishing. Thank you.